I've been working with Mark Riddick for 15 years now at this point. So um, he is just an amazing artist. I, uh, I'm so fortunate that he wants to lend his, his hands to uh, helping our our albums come to life, if you will. When it comes to working with him, I just really think that just giving him the least amount of direction or, or ideas is kind of like the way to go. And I feel like that's kind of like my philosophy uh, when working with people in those situations. Uh, you know, I don't want to tell Nuclear Blast how to promote a record because they know how to promote a record like way better than I ever would. So, Mark Riddick, he knows how to do art way, way better than I ever could. So. I just uh, tend to give him like uh, an album title, maybe a song title, perhaps some lyrics, and maybe a pre-production pre song to go with and just let his imagination run wild. Now, a lot of people probably don't know this about Mark Riddick, but uh, he was actually a painting ma major in college. So I know he's known within our, our circle and our community for these crazy, intricate, um, grotesque, if you will, like hand-drawn illustrations, but uh, painting was actually his major in college. So. For this record, um, I gave him the album title and just, you know, loosely like what the songs were going to be about and he was like, James, I've really been meaning to get back into painting, would you mind if I did some actual paintings for this layout? And of course I was like super into the idea. So the result was about seven different paintings all done by Mark Riddick um, that you can find within the layout for this record and it's pretty special in my opinion. So. You might want to pick it up on every format because there maybe are different different paintings that found their way into different formats of the record.